everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well and thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. I say it's my kitchen because I've got proof that it's my kitchen. Uh, Stephanie's kitchen. Yes, indeedy, I love a fridge magnet. So today I am taking part in a collaboration hosted by the lovely Kim. Kim's channel is Life Over 55 with Kim. Now this collaboration, brace yourselves, is based on slow cooker recipe ideas. Now there are three other fellow YouTubers joining in with this collaboration and they are Nikki, Ro and Roy. So if you would like slow cooker recipe ideas, don't forget to check out their channels which are all linked in the description below for you lovely lot. So you've got the lovely host, Kim, Nikki, Ro and Roy. So, my slow cooker recipe is, drum roll people, sausage casserole, oh yes. It's autumnal, it's comfort food, it's just, yeah. Yummy licious. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, snap out of it, Stephanie. It's just right for this time of year, isn't it? You know, I mean, earlier the rain was literally bouncing off the car. It's windy, it's cold. If you can hear a bit of clicking in the background, we've got a bit of a, um, a little magnetic screen up, so it stops the flies coming in. <laughs> so yeah, so the wind is banging on that at the moment, if you can hear that in the background. So yes, I thought I'd do a sausage casserole. Now, the main ingredient is sausages, isn't it? Yes, it is, Stephanie. Now, I was looking for the Slimming World sausages from Iceland, not the place Iceland, the shop Iceland, and the food warehouse by Iceland. Could I find them? No, I could not. So I reached out to my Slim Win group on Facebook, which I'll leave a link in the description below to that group. For any recommendations, on low sin sausages. Now my lovely friend Kelsey, hi Kelsey, she recommended skinny sausages from Aldi. You get six in a pack and they're half a sin each. And I was gonna use 12 sausages. So 12 sausages, three sins. That was quick math, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was for you, Stephanie. Thank you very much. But I have found the Slimming World sausages. Yes, I was in the food warehouse the other week and I picked up two bags, because there's six in a bag, and they are completely sin-free. So yeah, so all good. If you don't know, I'm food optimizing, following Slim World at home. So yeah, so all good. <laughs> so, I'm gonna turn this camera around, okay, and I'll see you on the other side to start the sausage casserole. Bye for now. Hi everyone, welcome back. Before we get started, make sure your hands are nice and clean and your slow cooker is ready to go, nice and clean, or if you've got a crock pot, not a slow cooker. My slow cooker is a cookwork, so I've had it now for a good few years, got it from Argos, and it's a 6.5 litre. So, ingredients. These are the Slim World Free Food Pork Sausages I was on about. So sorry about the lighting. Um, obviously they're not in the bag because I've already cooked them. So I've already pre-cooked them and I've chopped them all up. So there's 12 there all together. I'm using two tins of tomatoes. I've got these from Aldi, cheap and cheerful. Tin chopped tomatoes are a speed food. I popped them in here because obviously can opener does get messy, doesn't it? I've got finely chopped two onions, red and brown, so peeled and chopped. So what I'm going to do? I'll put them in first. Get a spoon out, Stephanie. Saves your hands, doesn't it? So 
Sorry about the banging. Waste not, want not though. All right, so that's that. I'll put that over there. Next, I've got two medium leeks. They are also a speed food. I've washed them, peeled them, peeled, washed and chopped. Always wash my veg. Pop them in. Give that a good stir. Look at those colours. Purple, well, red onion, but can we say it's a purple onion? <laughs> My sister says it's a white onion, but on the packet it says a brown onion. Okay, I've got four medium carrots. There was a five in the pack, but I'm going to make a, a carrot baked oat muffin in the week. Well, pudding. So, yes, yeah, so I've peeled, washed, chopped. Have you got enough room stuff for the. I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to mix them in. Look at all these colours. I'll tell you, you know what? The more colourful the meal, the more inviting it is to eat, you know? That's what I think anyway. Okay, I'm going to add the two tins of chopped tomatoes. Lovely jubbly. Up there. I'm going to mix them in now without making a mess, she says. Da, 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 da. What I should have done is put half and half in, really, but hey ho, is what it is. I'm going to get my, my big spoon to put my wooden spoon on it. Now I'm going to add the sausages. Like I said, they're already pre cooked. You don't have to pre-cook them if you don't want to. But I like to. Um, I do it with chicken as well and um, beef steak. If I'm, if I'm doing um, a stew or if I'm doing a lasagna in the slow cooker, I cook the mince first. The only thing I don't cook is a gammon and a whole chicken. So I'm really going to mix all this in now so then all the sausages... All the little sausagey bits, sausagey bits, <laughs> are mixed really well. Okay, right. right there we go. Now I'm going to use a beef stock pot. Can you see that? Okay. These are from Aldi. So I've already got one here already. Now these are a bugger to open. They really are. They're just a pain in the back side. So I'm going to get some scissors and snip them. Okay. Right, I'm going to pull that in there. Oh, God, I'll tell you. There's a little pull tab, yeah, but you can't get hold of it and it's really difficult. So, that's that done. Sorted. Give that a mix. Yum, yum. Okay, I'm going to add some mixed herbs. Again, I do apologise um, if you can't see it properly in the lighting, it's not so good. So I do apologise. Can you see it okay? I don't know if you can or not. Probably not. What I'll do though, I'll put all the ingredients and the method in the description below. So mixed herbs, I'm putting two tablespoons in. You can put like separate herbs in if you want to, but mixed herbs dried, it's just, it's just easier, isn't it really? Shortcuts. So I mix that in now. It'll all blend in together. Where did that go? Oh, okay. <laughs> that flying slow motion. I got some Worcestershire, not Worcestershire, Worcest, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. She usually says Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. You know what I mean, don't you? Yes, we do, Stephanie, after giggling and um, yeah. So I'm putting two tablespoons in. 
Okay, that's one. That bottle is now empty. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> I love Worcester sauce. That's it, Worcester sauce. That's it. It's usually Worcestershire sauce, but it's Worcester sauce. Got there in the end, didn't we? So. You know what, I'm just going to add a little bit more because I like it. So two to three tablespoons, there you go. It depends, you know, what kind of taste, you know, required taste. Um, we've got some tomato puree. I'm going to put two tablespoons in. Now a little method, a little, um, a little tip for you lovely lot. Wet the spoon under a warm tap and then put the, um, the tomato puree on. So I'll be back in the tickety boo Just talk amongst yourselves. Okay. I'm back, obviously. So hopefully this will just slide off. Yay! <laughs> okay, two. I'm going to put three in. Okay, done. Put the lid back on that. Like so. Give that a stir. Oh, my days. You know what? If only we had smell of smell of smell of vision. That's it. Get the words out, Stephanie. It smells really nice. Okay, waste not, want not. Next, we're going to add some salt. Look, it lights up blue. <laughs> yeah, I'm easily pleased. Some pepper. Come on. There we go. Oh, forgot lazy garlic. Almost forgot it. I've got a jar of lazy garlic. I'm going to put... Oh, sorry if that hit you. I'm going to put three teaspoons. Because a teaspoon is a clove of garlic. You know, I'm going to put four in because I don't like odd numbers. She says when she puts the Worcestershire sauce in. And smart up your eye. But hey ho. Mix all that together. Oh my god, it's so oh so nice. Sorry, the banging. Okay. Gonna be adding beef stock cubes. These are from Aldi. I'm gonna add three of these. So take them out. Come on. Put these in the jug. One. I usually use the Oxo ones, but these do the job as well. You're only paying for the name, aren't you, really? So, right. Got three in there. I'm going to add some water. And it's going to be a litre of water because it's a litre jug. Sounds like someone's going to the toilet. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Use my little whisk. Make sure they get dissolved. And what I'll do, I'm going to pour this stock on in on top of this veg and meat. And then I'm going to add a little bit more water so then it's covered. So everything cooks nicely then. Like I said, the sausage is already cooked, but they're not co cooked proper through, you know what I mean? So they're partly cooked. So I pre-cooked them, if that's what it means. Yes, I'm going with that. Okay. All right, I'm going to pour this over the top. Without spilling any, Stephanie. Okay, just add the last bits there. Oh my god, this is so nice! I've not had a sausage casserole in ages. I like a beef stew as well because I add pearl barley to beef stew because it thickens it up. 
and it's sin free. I've never seen pearl barley. My dad introduced pearl barley to me when he used to make stews. So I'm going to top it up with some more water. Let's get this rid of this tidy up a little bit. There we go. Right, okay. Get the kettle. Just so it's covering like that. It'll thicken up in time. So there we go. No, I'm going to add a bit more tomato puree because it helps thicken it up then. Tomato puree is sin free, if you're wondering. I think it's a speed food as well, I'm not too sure. So, I don't know how many calories this is going to be or Weight Watcher points. So, right, I'm going to wipe the side down. Okay. Excuse me. I don't like this. Okay. That bit there as well, Stephanie. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pop the lid on. And I'm going to cook it on low for 8 to 12 hours. It's on low now. So there you go. A nice sausage casserole. Completely sin free because I'm using the Slimwell sausages. But if you're using the skinny sausages, which are 3% fat. They are half a sin each. I got it wrong. <laughs> They're not, it's not three, it's not three sins for 12. It's, uh, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. It's six sins for 12. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I was doing so well, weren't I? So yeah, so yeah, completely sin free this dish is. Speed food, protein, it's just a lovely autumnal comfort slow cooker meal. So yeah, so right, I'll see you in a bit. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Now, if you would like slow cooker recipe ideas, don't forget to check out the fellow YouTubers that have joined in with this collaboration. They are Kim, who hosted this collaboration, Nikki, Ro and Roy. Links to their channels will be in the description below. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, it's free to do so. Hit that notification bell, bing, for more upcoming videos. And as always, keep smiling, stay positive and take care. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.